Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In this episode, we are going to be exploring this crazy helmet on top of my head. But before any of that, we have our Q&A of the day coming in from Azenfist. Do I plan on removing Vault Casual Mode now that I'm more experienced? Uh, no, I don't because I like the extra insurance. It's not like I die really at all so it doesn't change anything it doesn't change my loop it just means that if i die it doesn't set me back a few hours since daily uploads you know sit being set back a few hours is very very difficult and if you want to have your q a of the day read aloud at the beginning of each episode then join the discord link in the description become a part of the now 170 people Ooh, that was a mouthful let's explore this omega helmet we got now i did roll it a bunch because I just wanted to roll it off camera, and I got it here. Eight armor, four health, crit hit resistance, knockback resistance, mana regen, and soul chance. This is a ridiculously good helmet, except for the crit hit resistance. I really am not crazy about rolling that as a prefix, but I am afraid that if I touch it, I'll take away the armor or the health or something. So I blew literally every single one of our chaotic focuses on this, so this thing is... This thing is, uh, yeah. This thing started with like 250 crafting potential or something. So you can tell that we, ooh, we made our way through it. The repairs are unfortunate, but we actually do have a focus. The only problem is it doesn't have an enhancement. Look at this guy. Minus 14 cost of the, my mana. Da, be, 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 minus bleh, 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 bleh. Minus mana cost of dash is massive. Huge even. And this guy has nothing. Making it honestly worse than this one despite having a lot more armor it also doesn't have any damage on it which you know i'd really have liked the crit hit resistance to be i mean i could try to nullify it <laughs> it'd, it'd be really dumb but like it, what i would do is i would nullify it really cross my fingers and then we could come in here and give it a um a guaranteed 10 to 14 percent should i the voices in my head tell me yes oh oh Oh, oh, happy day, beautiful day. Oh yeah, that, that'll get you singing. This has become a perfect helmet. It's got literally everything that I want on it, except for an enhancement. So, uh, guess what we're trying to do today? Now, if you recall... Helmet enhancements are an actual nightmare to get your hands on. So what I'm going to do is actually run for crates as well as completions and stuff. And we're going to see how many crates we can collect by the end of the video. I've got a few crystals. I don't know if we're getting enhancement, but I think we're going to start off with this hunt the guardians because of the vault diamonds and hunting guardians is actually not that hard. I believe we should absolutely, yep, have a seal of hunt the guardians. And as always, I have prepped some lovely level 69 crystals the nicest crystals of them all i just need a little bit more levels we can slap this seal on and get to our enhancement hunting crate vaulting kind of day all righty oh prosperous oh <gasps> now that is a good one bonus guild it's fun chunky wow this is a phenomenal vault okay well it's a really good thing that we're specced into observer and actually intending on completing this because prosperous is uh, one of the best things to do while crate hunting. That gives us an additional 10% chance to find an artifact, which, of course, is a massive, massive boon. Uh, I'm going to be looking for dungeons as well as obelisks. I don't really have a particular chest I want to be looting. That will happen in the live stream, which should be going up today for you guys. You should see it. I ended up changing the time uh, to... I think it was 6 p.m. PST just because I was informed that my poor European users would all be asleep if I did a 2 p.m. stream. I would have preferred, to, of course, to do an earlier stream, but I have some work meetings in the morning, so I can't stream in the mornings, but I will aim to when possible. But uh, hopefully my European buddies will be able to catch the end of the stream. And hey, if you want to always be updated on when I'm streaming, uploading and any other thing on this lovely channel then it would mean the world to me if you would click that subscribe button and become a part of this amazing community that i love to watch grow also i'm using some new audio processing call me an idiot but i had no idea that uh, 
OBS could live audio process. I've literally been managing all of my audio in post and it's been annoying. So I just very recently learned that I could edit out the background noise of the fans that are running uh, because today is a very hot day and tomorrow it will be even hotter because springtime is coming to Las Vegas and springtime is basically hellfire. Um, <laughs> yeah, and summer is a step above that, so should be fun. I'm, I'm glad I could run fans while I'm recording. Ah, an X mark room. All right, well, since I'm not doing anything too strenuous in this vault, let's do the X mark room. I know in the last one I committed absolute blasphemy and skipped one, but unfortunately I needed vault diamonds more than I needed in the X mark room. So let's see, do we get our ornate chests? Ah, uh, what a cruel world this is. Oh, okay, but we get another tribe, so maybe the world isn't that cruel. Ah, uh, tis a happy day, my lord. Tis a happy day indeed. And with the new chest breaker, I can break ornate chests. Some of you guys were worried in the comments, but don't worry. There's a phenomenal community guide on the official Vault Hunters uh, Discord. It's under the, I think it's under the FAQ channel. Uh, it's an amazing resource that will tell you what mining speed you need uh, for what level of haste. And since I have haste 3, 30 is more than enough. Ooh, rock gear is a flowing. Very nice. Hello, ooh, obelisk. Well, I should probably mine this ore POI, hence the, uh, or since we have a two times plentiful vault, which, what a lucky roll. Alrighty. Let's hunt some guardians. So, while I'm hunting the guardians, I wanted to ask you guys, are there any games in your life, video games, that just were defining, right? Something that you got so into, or something that just really kind of changed how you viewed games, or just how you viewed something in life? Um... Because I find that games can be very definitive in a person's life. And I like I like the games that are like that as a medium. Um, for me, it was absolutely Undertale, which I know, I know. It's a very kind of cliche one. But it's just such a good game, and it really opened my eyes, especially when I was really into game dev, uh, to what a video game could be, to what a video game could accomplish, what I want video games to accomplish. Um, and it was just something that made people happy it was like the definition of a good game is a game that just makes people happy and undertale did that 10 times over and i mean obviously of, of course minecraft <laughs> my minecraft is probably the most formative game for me you know 13 years playing it more than half my life uh, got me into programming and youtube and basically the internet as a whole obviously minecraft is the biggest game in the world for me um i guess there's just so many games that have had an impact you know as far as games that haven't necessarily had like a life-changing impact, but are just really good games that I like to talk about, man, God of War Ragnarok was just something different. Oh my gosh, I love that game. So good. Um, I never actually played God of War. I watched Jack Jacksepticeye's playthrough of it, and um, probably should have played it because it was a little bit harder to, you know, play when you've never actually played uh, a God of War game, let alone, you know, the new era, but man... There are just a lot of good games on the market, and they, they make me happy. Obelisk number two. Oh, and I am seeing a big old dungeon. I mean, who knows, right? That could be the dungeon where we get our helmet enhancement. Maybe we get the greatest enhancement in the game. Although, I actually don't know what the greatest enhancement in the game would be. I haven't done a lot of testing on the helmet enhancements, nor would I really know where to find them. Oh, Guardians, you little pushovers. I could just tank you all day long. And fortunately, I'm not seeing any altars or anything. All right, that is unfortunate. <sighs> I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers. My fingers. I don't know why I said that with an accent. Would you two quit it? Oh, number three. Ooh, a little dungeon. I don't know. I wish it was a little more clear whether a dungeon could spawn one of the altars or not, because... Sometimes I'm not sure if the dungeon's big enough or if it's not, because there's a few, like, small ones that can spawn them. So, they need to make a list. Maybe there needs to be, like, a Dungeonpedia. <laughs> uh, okay, well, this one can spawn. Okay, so now we know, right? I guess the idea is, like, learning which dungeons can spawn them, but at the same time, kind of annoying when you, like, feel like you really need one. Please let me break. 
Would you, would you, okay. All right. Ooh, knockback resist on the leggings. That's great. I love knockback resist, okay? I slept on it so hard in the early game. Well, I guess in the early game, it's kind of sleepable because you can't get that, you can't get that high, right? But oh, in the late game, when you can get really big numbers of knockback resist, like I think right now we're running a pretty high knockback resist build. Um, 63%. That is lovely. I think we had it at like 97 at one point, and we were completely unmovable. That was the best thing in the entire game. You could iframe through anything. The vault fighters throwing bricks didn't matter. You were just untouchable. It was phenomenal. Oh, and here's the last obelisk. Uh, I still have eight minutes left. Maybe I'll spend dungeon hunting, I guess. Oh boy. All right, well, not in this room. Get me out of here. Hate those big spawners. There's no reason for them. Whoa. All right, found another one of the long boy dungeons. My favorites. Kind of annoying because of the double spawner. And you have creepers in the mix. Blech. Although that was pretty nice. See? That high knockback resist even allowed me to attempt it. It's phenomenal. They're barely touching me. And if I hold shift, pretty much no way. And uh, no enhancement tables. All right. I think I'll go and complete the vault. Because that crate is looking nice. And a 10% additional chance of an artifact is super duper good. Ooh. Skeleton booped me. Oh, come on, creeper. All right. Get out of here, guardian. There's one more. What? Where? Oh, my gosh. Really, dude? Oh, you, you just had to be different. All right, get smacked. Ugh. Guardians, they get so pretentious sometimes. He's like, oh, I'm the special guardian. I, I run away from the player instead of attack them. Blech. I got some Gilder boys. What are you going to do about it, Vault Fighter? Nothing. And please, and thank you. And the pile of crates begins. Next bounty is absolutely going to be kill 29 Vault Fighters. It is so easy. And as far as the gear goes, we got a pretty decent backup helmet. I'll, I guess I'll just put that in the in the pouch for, you know, all my backup helmets that uh, we might get enhancements on. But this guy is enhancement. Uh, numero uno and the rest of his stuff, we're just going to scrap. And honestly, for our next vault, uh, what? why are these different seals? Okay, wait. Seal of the Executioner with a wider thing. Seal of the Executioner with a... Okay, well, we'll use one of them. Because I feel like those are pretty easy to complete if you just have your hunter spec into them. And I do. And uh, I definitely think we'll be able to complete this bounty. So another two crates down the hatch. Pretty much guaranteed. Oh, it looks like I should have taken the other bounty to kill spiders. Because if I kill spiders, I get an echo gem. Which I suppose I'm not like hurting for echo gems. But it's just nice to complete the bounties rather than pearl them or abandon them. Because pearling them is expensive because pearls are rare and abandoning them means you have to wait eight hours for your next bounty well, here's our first dungeon of this vault and it is not looking good on the front of getting stuff from it which is unfortunate i wonder if it spawns in like the, the sky or the ceiling or something <laughs> i don't even think they would do that there's some crazy things that they do in vault hunters but uh sky altars probably not oh boy all right, stuck in a hole. Sometimes it's gonna be that way. Whoa. I don't even think there's an altar in here. All that mortal peril and not even for an altar. What a world. I really do like the Guardians thing. It's got a good like balance of like, you know, I'm specced into like resistance in combat. Mostly it's kind of how I like build. So it's very simple, but like I know that if you weren't expecting to all this combat and resistance stuff, it'd be a lot harder. But as you can see, I could just kind of sit there. And then with the chromatic powder, my gear takes almost no damage because expecting to unbreakable. It's just like, I do like that you could really get like a good build going for Hunt the Guardians. So I appreciate that. Is this dungeon number three already? Whoa. A lot of guys in here. Hey, Vault Fighter. Will you turn into a bounty completion for me? Mm, not quite yet. Ooh, it has been dry on the obelisks. We're already nine minutes left, and I don't even have half. Oh, well, okay. All right. Well, that shows me for speaking. There we go. I was just thinking I had to be super close to completing the bounty. Awesome. Hopefully, we will be seeing two crates out of this. Maybe even a helmet enhancement, though. 
With each passing second, it becomes less and less likely. Very sad. Oh, wow. That was just a string of three obelisks in a row. Oh, I still have seven minutes. I have no reason to exit the vault just yet. We'll do some dungeon hunting. And uh, in the likely event that we find absolutely nothing, we'll complete this vault and get two crates once again. Oh, and there's a, another... Ob Why did I do that? There's already an obelisk in this room. I was looking at it. I just... Ugh. Auto... I bit that... Uh, what, what was I going to say? Automatically. Oh, and here is a dungeon. Okay, I'll call this... The last dungeon of the vault. Ooh, very spooky. Um, and speaking of calling, I realize I forgot to name our uh, chest looter, so I will do that when we're out of the vault. Okay, I know these dungeons can spawn things, but of course, not for us. All right, unfortunate, but uh, with five minutes left, there is no reason to keep going. All right, guardians, end me home. Thank you, thank you. I like that they all three died at the same time. That was very satisfying. And now you will die too. Please and thank you. And into the pile they get. No! I didn't want to do that. Aww. And we didn't even get an artifact out of it. <sighs> Man, alright. That sucks. Just so we used to shift clicking on things to place them down. I'm not sure what I got, but I, I don't think it was actually a very good crate. Ooh, that is quite good, though. And our armor is par for the course. All right, all right. I gotta do one more vault. I can't I can't accidentally have opened a crate. One more vault. And I'm thinking we're gonna do this kill zombies one because not only am I gonna seal this again with executioner right because easy to complete i'm gonna use the wasteland caves augment on the crystal which should mean that we're guaranteed to get zombies and i am finally gonna repair this i don't need to yet but uh, eh, it's getting low wait did i undo the augment by doing that i hope not well i did unless this is wasteland caves is this wasteland caves oh maybe i i thought wasteland caves was the one with the fire in it to be perfectly honest hmm i i think i did undo my augment okay i guess you can't augment and seal is that intentional i didn't feel like it was intentional well, I suppose I have to cross my fingers for a special room, like a challenge room, if we want to actually complete our bounty as well. But I could always complete on, or complete, I could always focus on completing the actual vault. Oh, we have wild on this, don't we? Blech. Man, this long boy dungeon, I have been here for like a solid minute just killing mobs. It spawned so, oh, I'm too, all right. I need to give these guys an avenue to get out because it keeps spawning them. Come here, guys. There we go. Ah, and we have a little modifier bench in here. Uh, break, please. Thank you. What do I get? Boots with the thorns chance. Eh, eh, eh. I mean, I guess we could work towards making a thorns build, which might be kind of fun, but, uh, yep, that's pretty worthless to me. Alrighty, I'm seeing our dungeon number two. Please, 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 please. Show me the money the money what, what are you doing what are you even doing huh the money of course being a helmet enhancement table eh. okay uh here you go have fun in there oh whoop there you go mini me will creepers blow up mini me's whoa i don't think so yeah look at that mini me i think you're gonna die Sorry, bud. It's a worthy sacrifice, though. Oh, wait, no, he's kiting him. He's kiting him. I just don't want to jump down there with that creeper. Hey, me, how are you not taking any damage right now? You're insane, dude. Are they all focused on me? Oh, my gosh. Is he going to clear him out? Dude, Mini-Me, you're a beast. Oh, my gosh. Mini-Me is an animal. Love you, bro. But no table. Oh, hello, library room. Um, man, I want to loot you, but... Kind of in a crate mood, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll loot this hallway, but to be perfectly honest, th these are great when you find them randomly like this, actually, because, you know, a lot of gilded chests, but, uh, I guess I don't have the time. 
I I'm sorry, bud. Ooh, hello, Obelisk. How are you doing today? I'm doing quite well. Hey, Mini-Me, you want to clean house again? I'd appreciate that. While you clean house, I will clean these up. Whoops. Whoop. Okay, we're going up. Now, can I reach the spawner? Oh, I think I can, yeah. Ha ha ha! I'm a genius. But it doesn't look like there's an altar in here. Oh, I'm a genius without an altar. Okay, here's a little mini dungeon. I have no idea, once again, if this can spawn. But I didn't think that other vertical mini dungeon would, so maybe it can, right? Um, I feel like this should be able to spawn something, but it, it didn't. But it looks like it's got the space, too. Alright, it looks like we're going to have six minutes to find two obelisks, huh? I think we can do that. I think we can pull that off. But I'm going to have to focus exclusively on them. So... Unfortunately, our helmet enhancement, eh, it's not happening. Maybe during the live stream, right? We're going to be running a lot of vaults. And you know what? Didn't I say that I was going to name the this thing and then I didn't? And I didn't name it because I'm a little foolish guy and I always forget. I swear, I have a name from the comments that I really like and I want to put on it. I keep forgetting. Sorry. Oh, boy. All right. I have got the whole armada on me right now. Ugh. Bitch of a wee pickle I'm in. Or, I should have said it's a wee bit of a pickle I'm in. I, I messed that up. Boy, there are a lot of arbalists. Whew. Alright, alright. Taking a step back from that situation. To drink a little potion. Ugh. Whoa! This is tight, tight, tight. Tighter than I want it to be. Get out of here, man. Thank you. Lord. Duh. Go away. Ugh. You're all just inconveniences. Inconveniences at best. Aha. The, ow, I landed on the dripstone. The last obelisk has been uh, spotted. Very nice. I'm going to go clear the area so I don't repeat the mistakes of last time. And then we'll go grab our happy little crate beyond out of here and yeah only six of these guys not gonna be a problem at all die woo sadly only one crate goes to the pile still looks pretty nice although we may be two crates short and no helmet enhancement also but we still have four delicious crates that we got so i'm just gonna pop these guys open whoa there are two epic pluses in there Okay, game's trying to make up for some of its mistakes. Ooh, this is good looking. Well, diamonds, chromatic steel, and Laramar, they make the world go round, pretty much literally. Well, the Scrappy and the Commons were all very meh, but let's see about the two Omega, or er, Omega's Epics, the Epic X, and the Epic Boots, but they could roll Omega, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they did. Wow, that's abysmal, and, uh, yeah, not... Not very good. I mean, I, I could keep it around. It does have three prefixes. Yeah, I'll keep these guys around just in case I want to roll for a specific set because having three prefixes is really nice. But yeah, the epic axe, uh, you, you go away. All right, Vault Hunters, you've deprived me of my enhancement. You've deprived me of an artifact and two of my beautiful crates and really any good Vault gear. Please, relics. But first, the mod boxes. I actually think I'm seeing some pretty good stuff. Yes, blank upgrades. Nice. Augment cores. Nice. Skeleton keys. Nice. Steel casing. Nice. Please, luck be with me on this. No, come on. Uh, is that? Is it? No, no, no. Ah, the curse of relics continues. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I I, I forgot. I, I literally forgot. I said so many times I wouldn't forget. I forgot the name, the chest breaker. Okay, the name is from Pedro. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but thank you for the suggestion of the Unmaker. Ooh, I think it's really cool. And, um, well, you can't see it when you mouse over it, but when you select it like this, it becomes the Unmaker, which I really like as the name. There. I didn't forget. I named it. Okay? Okay? 